Hello everyone. This video is about rates of work and proportions. The question reads, machine A can complete a piece of work in 6 hours, while machine B can complete the same work in 10 hours. If both machines start working together and machine A breaks down after 2 hours, how long will it take machine B to complete the rest of the work? So, we're going to have a summary of the information. We have two machines, machine A and machine B. Machine A takes six hours to complete the piece of work. That is six over six of the work. While machine B takes 10 hours to complete the whole work that is 10 over 10 of the work. Now I'm using 10 over 10 because of 10 hours and 6 over 6 because of 6 hours. Our target here is to know the fraction that the machines will do in one hour. So for machine A in one hour, what fraction does it do? So if 6 hours it does 6 over 6, in one hour it is just 1 over 6. In other words, you can just cross the multiply and then you'll get 1 over 6. And then for machine B, in one hour, it does 1 over 10 of the work. So, when they're meant to work together, in one hour, we'll have machine A, which does 1 over 6, plus machine B, which does 1 over 10, and this should be, we have 60, then 10 plus 6, that is 16 over 60. 16 over 60 simplifies to 4 over 15. So this is the work done in one hour when they are working together. How about in two hours? Remember, we're told, if both machines start working together and machine A breaks down after two hours. So within the two hours, they were working together. So we need to get the fraction done by both of them in two hours. So in one hour, they do 4 over 15. That means in two hours, we'll have twice 4 over 15, which is 8 over 15. So if machine A breaks down after two hours, how long will it take machine B to complete the rest of the work? So the rest of work remaining, that is uh, 15 over 15 minus 8 over 15, which is 7 over 15. So this is the fraction of work that requires to be completed by machine B. So we are going to say, if in one hour, machine B does 1 over 10 of the work, then how about if the machine has to do the remaining fraction of the work, this is machine B, that is 7 over 15. How long will it take? If we cross multiply, we'll have 7 over 15 times 1 times 10 over 1. That is divided by 1 over 10. So the sign changes to multiplication so that we have 10 over 1. And from this, we'll be getting 70 over 15. 70 over 15 simplified, that gives us 4 hours, 40 minutes. And that is the time that machine B will take to complete the rest of the work. And that is what the question required us to get. This is how we go about this question. I want to thank you for watching. Bye.